Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, April 17, 2024. I hope you are in good health this morning and good spirit. And I pray that God will continue to pour his wisdom and his love upon you. I hope that your families are doing well. And as we read today, I pray that the Holy Spirit will infuse us with his wisdom as he leads us through the path of righteousness. Our reading today comes to us from Proverbs chapter 2, reading verses 1 to 9. And it says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and heed my commandment with thee, so that thou incline thine ears unto wisdom and apply thine art unto understanding, yea, if thou carest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words of wisdom coming from the servant of the book, Proverbs. Now, this book, as we know it, has a lot of instruction as it relates to wisdom. And here, as we read this passage, we see where God is saying to those who seek heavenly wisdom that they will never complain that they have lost their labor so seeking after wisdom is actually a good thing it's actually something that is positive and will also work out for our benefit when we think about it so it is a good thing when we have wisdom now the passage encourages us that wisdom we must seek it earnestly and it also portray it as a treasure searching for treasure you know as we pursue you know it diligently think about when you you are pursuing after something that you you really desire you go after it with earnest you know effort and you are relentless in get in, in getting it because it is important to you now he's saying that we must take the same approach when we seek after wisdom or, or as it relates to wisdom because it is just as valuable. In fact, it is more valuable than actual treasure. You know, wisdom is one of the greatest treasure that one could ever acquire. And it emphasizes the importance of listening to wisdom. So when you know person speak to you about you know things that are good we need to accept these things in diligence and humility we need to be wise okay and it i like that wisdom only come from god wisdom comes from god so when we are seeking for wisdom who must we seek wisdom from ourselves or friends or families or God God so in other words if somebody say something to you we need to examine what they are saying to see if it is in line with what God is saying to us or what God wants for us so don't just accept anything because somebody you trust say it because person can make mistake person can lie and that is why the word of God encourages us that we must use the word of God to examine everything, everything, not just something, because that is how we will, we will weed out errors and so on. Amen. And when you think about it too, 
when we acquire wisdom and or when we have wisdom it it's it, it serves as a kind of protection for us because think about it when you know that something is not right or it is harmful you won't do it because what you have that prior knowledge that the thing is dangerous and therefore you will keep away from it true no on the other hand if you pursue that thing even though you you got the prior information that is not safe for you then it means therefore you are foolish so it can serve as a twofold so the wisdom or the knowledge rather that you receive when you make the necessary choice or the right choice then that's when you actually apply that wisdom or that knowledge okay so is the application no that is really important it's not just the knowledge or the knowing is how we apply that knowledge that make us wise okay and so it protects us against wickedness and it keep us out of darkness when we know the right thing we will not make foolish mistake we will not make foolish choices so wisdom does have its reward and the truth is that it's a reward that you and i can live with because when we make a choice that it benefits us positively because we follow the instruction that god gives us then it work out good for us and we are also protected from that thing and even protected from anything that would want to arm us so it should lead us to righteousness it should lead us closer to god because wisdom when you know what is right and when you know the truth it points you in one direction and that is to jesus christ so i pray that as we continue to study that we will be wise and that we will seek after his wisdom do you remember solomon when he he, he just became king he and god was having a conversation and god asked him what it is that you want do you want riches what and he told god that i want wisdom so that i can lead the people and follow you and god bless him outside of that so that is what we need to ask god for wisdom we need to yearn for it amen so may god pour out his wisdom on us as we seek for it and may we find it as we search for it with all our hearts amen god bless you and have a wonderful day.